Sometimes we reach to such a state of life that neither we have any friend or a companion nor do we have any specific purpose or any concrete image of what next, what will happen next. Then does it mean that life has lost its meaning or this that we have become alone? The answer is no, you are never alone. You are always being loved because it's love which has created us by which we all are made and this love is a spirituality many of us doesn't have such destiny to have a beloved who really loves us unconditionally that it appears that the heartless world in which we live or so distant is heaven that no one is going to hear when we are praying or no one is going to see our tears when we are crying because unconditional love is so rare in this world but there is one incident in which people saw Jesus Christ in a temple and the passion, the love, the zeal was such in his heart that disciples remember that it is written in the scripture that the fire of your house will consume me so such love is there in this world that you are always being loved that sometimes it happens that you have a loved one but your love has gone a relationship that love has gone so such lukewarm that it doesn't matter to your beloved you leave or you don't leave or whatever you are just it is just robotic everything has gone but from other side when we see a person like Jesus such life in this world where we find that such love for the house of the God such love for everybody that when he saw Mary in tears he get tears in his eyes too when he saw other people also crying and Mary crying for Lazarus and he got tears in his eyes and when he is in the temple and we're seeing people were selling cattle and and there was no respect for the God that okay God is there in the temple it's okay God is there right God is there but we have other things to do like this happens in your life too that your loved one is with you, your beloved, your wife, your husband is with you, your girlfriend, your boyfriend is with you, but your presence has become negligible in that person's life. And then there comes Jesus Christ who says, tear down this temple or tear down this relationship and I will rebuild a new relationship within three days. And this is the fire, this is the passion, this is the zeal about which seeing this, disciples say that, oh, the zeal of your house will consume me or the fire of your house will consume me because sometimes it's a street of our own house of or our own city and the town but all appears a stranger that no one is waiting like you are away and your your partner is is relaxed okay is 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 very modern is very comfortable with you not being there that to whom shall you call your own then this robotic or messy in life everything is programmed relationship of need not of belonging or real yearning of the soul what Jesus Christ has said that prophet is never worshipped in his own country and same thing happens in our relationship too that it is just our beloved whom we love so much is not going to love us the way it is like our own country you know when you love somebody then that person becomes your country your home your everything and by hard work we can attend a mansion or, or a kind of a, a luxury in this world or or we can attend a friend uh, many friends when you are successful you have money and but it is like like the house of the stone or friends like a beautiful sculpture you can develop if you are successful you have influence you have power in the society but what about your heart your heart is made of the glass and Externally it appears that if you get the luxury of the world then it can make us happy but it can never make us happy it always breaks our heart we need a tender touch of somebody no matter if that person is successful or not successful but you need somebody who cares for you so there is one more name of love it is called care and you will see that Jesus is carrying the ship in his arms embracing in the care and it is to declare not on human scale but on the scale of creation that you are being loved you are being cared if you see around if you see that how this nature cares for you that the food comes the daily bread the prayer is like that give us 
this day our daily bread that you are given this bread all your life that yes even if there can be some nights you slept without food it can happen but you are alive means you are were given the bread always you were given some few moments of love even one single moment of true love is eternal and you are always being loved this is a good news this is the greatest news that god has created us in god's own image and this image is love when we are born we all are like a little beautiful children all love that you see a child and you want to love such is our reality that we are being loved and we are made in love thank you so much may god bless you